by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making paper fighter jets to learn about some of America's most awesome, technological, real-life fighter jets. Can you name them? Fasten your seatbelts, flyers, because we've got the F-86. This is a first-generation fighter jet used during the Korean War. Its name, Sabre. The F-4, a third-generation fighter jet used during the Vietnam War. The F-14, the Navy used this. It takes off from and lands on an aircraft carrier in the ocean, and its wings swing in a very cool way. Next, the Air Force's F-15. It dogfights and attacks the ground and is the most successful fighter jet ever with over 100 victories and no losses in combat. Some say the F-15 is the best fighter jet of all time. And the F-35. The United States Navy, Air Force, and Marines can all use this plane. It can take off vertically straight up in the air and has stealth technology and spy capabilities. It's also very, very expensive to make. Woo! Now, those are just a few. There are more, but I'll challenge you to find out the names of the rest of them. Here's what you'll need for our craft today. A piece of paper and star stickers, and that's Ooh. it. Oh, we've got a question. Why does America have so many different kinds of fighter jets? Great question. The United States has different kinds of fighter jets because technology is always changing and getting better. You know how you might get a new computer that works faster and smarter when your old one slows down? Well, that's kind of how it works with fighter jets. And America is a global leader with the best technology. We want to be prepared and ready to protect our freedom, which is why we continue to build the most powerful fighter jets we can. You ready to make our jet? Now, don't let this one piece of paper fool you. Folding a fighter jet plane takes a sharp eye. Are you ready? Keep your eyes focused and follow along. We're gonna do this together. All right, drum roll please, here we go. You can do it. You're gonna fold it over in half, make that crease real nice, unfold it, and then we're going to fold it in half the other way. And flip the paper so that the crease is across the top. Fold it in half this way again, nice crease. Fold it this way, and you're gonna fold this edge so that it comes up to the center crease. See how that's working? Do the same with the other side. To the middle. Nice crease, put some muscle in it. Open it back up, open it back up, and now we want it so it's like this on the bottom. Right here. Fold it down into a triangle, and this point is gonna hit this crease right there. Very good. Same to the other side. Fold it. Crease goes right there. And we do want to point at the top if we can. Get it as close as you can. Fold it up, see how that works? Now fold it all the way down so that this lines up with the center crease. It's kind of like making a paper airplane, except a little bit more involved and then do the same with the other side. All right, it's starting to look like a little plane, yes? So, why did the United States start making fighter jets? Well, planes started fighting in the air during World War I, which was between 1914 and 1918. After that war, air combat became common, and the United States decided to be prepared to protect our freedom. So, we started building fighter jets, and we keep making them better. Let's make our fighter jet even better here, okay? Follow along, you're doing great. So we have what looks like a little plane. You're gonna unfold it like this, and now fold it open. 
so that it lays flat, just like this. Do it to the other side. There you go. Fold this flap over back to the outside. Now this part's a little tricky. You're gonna take this edge right here and fold it down so that it lines up with this crease. You can do it. Same to the other side. Flip it over. Do the same to the other side. Take this edge, line it up with this crease. Fold these flaps down. And flip it over again. Same to the other side. These flaps come down. There you go. Whew. You need a little bit of a break? Me too. Want to know more about the F-35 that I mentioned at the beginning of the show? It's really cool. Basically, it's a huge computer with wings. It's 14 feet tall, 51 feet long, has a wingspan of 35 feet, and can fly 1,200 miles per hour. There's even a type of F-35 that can fly vertically, straight up and down. The first prototype of the F-35 flew in 2006. Oh, and it also costs between $78 million and $101 million to make. That's a lot of money. But our fighter jet here doesn't cost a lot of money, so let's finish it up. Last part, coming at you. Stay focused. So we have our plane. Fold it in half, just like this. Then you're gonna take this wing and fold it up. It's getting tougher and tougher. We gotta make this strong. Do the same to the other side. Take one flap of this part of the wing and fold it up. Do the same to the other side. This flap. Okay. Straighten it out. Almost there. <laughs> yes! <laughs> now if you have star stickers like I do, Now's the time to get them on the wings of our jet. Ta-da! We did it! All I need now before trying this out are fighter pilot glasses. <gasps> Why, thank you. Three, two, one! Look out below! I could do this all day. America's fighter jets are great accomplishments. The technology they use, how they can dogfight in the air and attack targets on the ground. Our fighter jets are an important part of our military and defense. They're built to protect our freedom. And we are so thankful for the great men and women in our military who help make them, fly them, and keep us safe. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. One more time. Yes, here we go. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series and subscribe at PragerUKids.com.